So Russia attacked. Now what? And I'm gonna show you how to repair with your go back. Up next on my channel. If something like Russia attacking a European nation, unless you're in Europe, there's not a whole lot that you can do, and there's not a whole lot that you need to prep for, all right? I'm gonna say that now, because listen, I've always had a, a prepping mindset on things. I definitely don't have a doomsday bunker, but you know, if you're out, you should probably have a pistol on you. If you're out, you should probably have ways of communicating, of stopping bullet holes, whatever. Even if you get you know, stabbed, you still need a way to stop that. It's more than just gunfights. And that's why I keep telling people that aren't preppers. So in the, the case of Russia, most likely if you live in the continental US, Alaska might be a little different. You don't have too much to worry about. Your life's not really gonna change that much. Besides, uh, goods are going to get more expensive because uh, a lot of people don't know this, but ex-Soviet satellite states, they manufacture a lot, and I mean a lot of goods, and a lot of parts for things like cell phones. I do believe there's, uh, but correct me if I'm wrong, I think there's lithium mines out there. Gas prices are gonna go up because people are freaking out. That's to be expected. Number one thing, if you're prepping and you're in the US and something like what just happened, happened, you're gonna wanna fill up your gas tank, right? I was almost on empty. I mean, I had like less than an eighth of a tank in my truck. So two days ago, I made sure to fill up. And already gas has skyrocketed, I think 30 cents a gallon. If you're a person that lives paycheck to paycheck, this hurts you. Then. There's your, your actual go bag and what goes in it. I'm headed to work right now, and so I will get back to you here in a few hours, if the nukes don't fly. We survived Russia, uh, first day of the attack. What do you pack in your get home bag? Well, the very first thing we have is our proper documentation on anything that's maybe uh, NFA related or um, license registration, stuff like that. It's always good to have backup hearing protection, even though uh, my carbine runs suppressed. And <clears throat> that's really it for this front area. Your primary compartment, you have your flashlight, a, uh, a general purpose knife. If you need to make kindling or whatnot you have it available to you the number one thing that every concealed carry guy should have is a trauma kit forgive the uh, hubba hubba of having a larue trauma kit but it does have things like quick clot in it nitro gloves stuff like that and i also have a gunshot kit in the truck my Havilon knife for doing field crap type stuff i have oral iv here this is way more important to, to stay hydrated so having something where it can keep you hydrated for long periods of time is really good to have chem light toe warmer foot warmers soap fire starter if need be and i do have a bic lighter in my truck and toilet paper which can also be used as fire kindling you want something to distinguish you from a friendly or foe I found this useful tip from Pat McNamara. Number one is gloves. You never know when you might have to uh, work on the glass or sharp edges, so it's always good to have gloves on. And then you have an orange safety vest. What this allows me to do is after something like an active shooter situation or you know police officers are coming up on you, putting this on gives you just the officer a little bit of pause when they come to engaging a target. They see that orange jacket they're like whoa whoa what's up with this guy 
Glock 19 with a Surefire weapon light on it. I only have one mag for that. That is because I figure if I'm going to be using a pistol and I need more than one mag, I have my carbine here. I've got two spare mags, my Leatherman multi-tool, and then things really get out of hand. I have my MCX Rattler in 300 blackout, suppressed, Surefire Scout, 1500 lumen light. It's rechargeable, a aim point. This is pretty much ready to go. And again, because this is an SBR and has a can on it, means you need to bring your copies of your two tax stamps. So that's pretty much it. I hope you really like uh, my general purpose get home bag. And guys, remember, be safe. It's a dangerous world out there.